Good evening. Solo de, de años, solo la única persona. Entonces, no, ya no. Entonces, uno puede saber, solo porque en que sábado se lo iba a terminar y estaba, se iba a terminar el domingo. Pero me, yo por eso quedo con él siempre ahí. No, 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 no hay pena, ahí está bueno. Hello, hello, good evening, can you hear me? Hi, Jose, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, um, it's time to start the class. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Do this at least. Hello. 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 Ada, can you hear me? Teacher, yes. I cannot hear you. Yes, we can hear you, teacher. Hello, say something. Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Hello, hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. Hi. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, now I can hear you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for saying hi. So, today is Thursday, December 2nd. 22 days for Christmas Eve. Are you ready? No, I am not. Why? <laughs> I should work during Christmas time. The 21st December, the 25th, so. 25th? Yes, yes, the 25th, sorry, so. 31st, the 1st, yes, we're working, I know. Yes, and I should buy many gifts for my, for my daughter. She, <laughs> also, she already sent a letter for Santa, supposedly. She, she doesn't know the real, the real story. And I don't want, I am ready to tell her yet. She's five years old. Yeah, that's okay. Papa Noel? Yeah. Compra Papa Noel. <laughs> That's nice. You have kids, right, Heidi? No, your microphone is off today. I don't want to work. Hmm. Nope, nope. Troubleshoot, troubleshoot. Okay, so we're finishing on December 17th. I really thank you for being here tonight. And we are 11 so far. So let me do the attendance so we can move on. Um, okay. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Okay. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Okay. 
Aitney, Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Got you. I got you. Ok. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Wow, ya no está aquí. Josué, José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. I got you, Jose Antonio. You're having internet. You're having issues with the internet, Jose. Jose Alberto Present Salas teacher. Benitez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Suleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Here yet. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Okay, so we're 11 still. Hmm. It's concerning. By the way, the platform has already been fixed. They did a review. They corrected the exercise 1.7 in case you want to do it again or check again the exams, um, you're free to do it. Remember that you have until tomorrow to finish the um, midterm, the midterm exam. It's on your platform. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're still waiting for the rest and I would like to check that with you as well. Let me see where do I have the website for Okay, there it is. Let's just talk about your platform for a minute. I haven't had time to check it yet. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we're in module four. And the midterm exam is here. Look, it's part of the unit two. Okay. So, part one. Okay, select the best alternative based on the definitions below. Let's go a little bit, you know, scanning the options that we have. So, process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. Okay, process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses to sell to, custom, to consumers. Distribution. Distribution. Yes. Okay. Network created amongst different companies producing and distributing products. It's a Supply network. Chain. Supply chain. Yeah, that sounds about right. The ongoing process of moving parts and products and out of a location. Inventory management. Inventory management, okay. The coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, and supplies. Logistics. Logistics, and the last one, the process of keeping something in good condition. Okay. 
What is it? Exactly, that's maintenance. maintenance. <laughs> that is maintenance. Okay, yeah. now look at this. I wouldn't like to say this. For certain, for certain, it's very likely, but we may need to change our distributors. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. I wouldn't like to say this. It's very unlike, it's very likely. Mm. Okay, what do you think? For certain. For certain? For certain. For certain. Certain. He uh, certain. <laughs> uh huh. For certain. So we may need to change our distributors. Okay. Did the managers finish evaluating the three PLs available? Not in my knowledge, not of, not to my knowledge. Not in my knowledge or not to my knowledge? Not in my knowledge. Mm. Not in my knowledge. Mm -mm. Two. It is effective to hire, uh, okay, doubt it, I doubt it. So easy, come on. If you select doubt it, it, that doesn't make sense, right? Doubt it. It is effective, no, okay. Think about it, this is simple. This is multiple choice. Part three, again, instructions, choose the best alternative. I can tonight, but I certainly come next time. Hmm. But I'm certain to come next time, uh, okay. I would have said, I would have said, but I will certainly come next time. Certainly come next time. I don't know. You think about it. Likely. They, likelihood, email rather than phone. They are likely email rather than phone. Okay. Sure. I'm sure that she'll try her best to be there. I surely that. Mm. Hmm. Be careful with that. And so on. So you have multiple choice option number three on the part number three. I'm sorry, part number four. Again, multiple choice. Come on. This is for kids of basic two. This is not for you. You're better than that. A company that organizes shipments for corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to a market customer or final point of distribution it's a company what is it first one first one freight forwarding service well i'll buy it i'll buy it let's see it provides a point system to score green building design and construction we saw this yesterday LEED certification. Yeah, LEED certification, certification, very good. And so on. Just four. Oh my God, this midterm exam is so easy that you should have done it already. You should have finished it already. And so on. Okay, so this is as far as you should know. That's as far as you should be by now, okay? So let's try to accomplish that. Now we're 15, Yuri, welcome. Alexander, try to turn on your camera. Jocelyn, William, Alexander, okay. So tell me how things are, how are things going now a days for you? Waiting for Friday. Waiting for Friday. Hey, me too. I'm, I'm waiting for Sunday, actually, because this weekend I'm finishing the weekend group and then I'm free. Waiting for, for bonus. I get out of. Oh, the Christmas <laughs> bonus. Christmas bonus. When do they typically pay the Christmas bonus in your company? November, December 8th, actually. December 8th. Wait, 
Where, where do you work? Can you tell me a point of reference where you move, you know? <laughs> Metro Center. <laughs> Metro, ooh, okay. This year will not be in, on, on December the 8th. So don't wait for that day. You know what? The, yes. Christmas month. They are about to approve a new, uh, a new act in the, uh, in the Congress. The Salvadorian Congress is about to approve a new act stating that they will we will not get discount on the Christmas bonus anymore. Well, not for this year. Do you think they will approve it? I think yes, because it's uh, Bukele wants to do that. So yeah, after the pandemic, right? Yeah. That's another good way to help people. It's a lot of money. I mean, some people will get $300 and I don't know, it's like $60 on discounts, I believe. I don't know. 10, 10%. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just a rent, right? Oh, yeah, $30. Another $30. First two wallet, $30 now, $30 on Christmas bonus. Come on. That's nice. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Honestly, nobody ever gave me money, so I guess it's okay. So, okay, I, I was thinking about some. Oh, okay, guys, what is the meaning of get? What is the meaning of get? That's many. <laughs> okay. many. Many, many good. Okay, obtener is the most common one. Yeah. What else? Take. Hmm? Take. Take, for example. Yeah. Um, manner. Yeah, take, but emotion or feelings. Mm. Mm -hmm. No. It's like the same. But obtain. you know what? You, you are right. <laughs> you are right. It's a synonym of take. For example, yeah. hey, get your coat. Get your coat. It's going to be cold. Get your coat. Get your jacket. Yeah. Get the pencil. Yeah. Another one? What other meaning is there for get? Receive. Receive, for example. Mm -hmm. Like to get the money. Okay, use present continuous. Present continuous, are you getting? Huh? I'm getting? The money or getting... the Christmas bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I'm getting, the I'm getting the Christmas the Christmas bonus, yeah. I'm getting the Christmas bonus on getting, obtain. Again, that's obtain. <laughs> Have, okay. have, have, for example. In the past, got. It's the most common use. Mm -hmm. I got money, I or I got different mm -hmm. things. Instead of have, you say got. Yeah, but in that context. Mm, maybe it's like. It's llegar. present, Alexander, it's present. Llegar, yes. Yeah. Llegar, for example, Fernando. Uh, I get home. I, I voy llegando, como digo, voy llegando a otro lugar. I, I get, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting my, I work. Closer to my home. Yep. I'm your captain. I'm your captain. I'm get, getting, getting closer. No, closer to home. Closer to home. I'm your captain. I can't remember the name of the band. I'm getting closer to my home. Aha, uh -huh. yes. I'm getting late to work. Yesterday I got late to work. Okay. Any other? Um, when you get sick, it's maybe it's just for getting sick or, so what or is getting it? happy or not. Is like there a me. synonym for that? Maybe. Feeling? No. 
When you talk about feelings, nothing more Okay, teacher, don't cry. Get transition. You transition from one stage to another, from one stage to another. For example, as Fernando said, I'm getting sick. I'm getting sick. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Send it to everybody, Jose Antonio. Get out of here. Okay, you got it, yeah. You got it. <laughs> okay, to obtain something. You got it, you got it, got it? Okay, yes. or when you're explaining something to your boss and he starts telling you, yeah, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it, I get it. I understand, understand, okay. Now, transitioning. Transitioning is very used in American, you know, I'm getting paid, I'm getting sick, I'm, I'm getting fat, I'm getting old. I'm getting bad. <laughs> I'm getting bad? Yeah, I'm getting bad. Hey, I'm getting good at English. You're getting good at English. Okay. I, oh, one more. I'm getting a new cell phone. Let's get a new cell phone, Caroline. Let's get a new cell phone. Let's go to Metro Centro and get a new cell phone. What's the scene? Getting a new car, teacher. Getting a new car? Yes, you're perfect, Ada. So what is the synonym? Okay. Bye. Bye. Push. To buy. To buy. And these are like the main meanings of get, okay? You have buy, arrive, transitioning, okay? What else? Uh, and there are so many uses for this. But yes, when you say I got money, it's um, an informal say of, of saying I have something, okay? Alexander, I, I got, I got um, I got twenty dollars, and you know what? That is an informal way because British, British, you know, uh, English people, let's say English people from United Kingdom, they tend to use a lot the verb with present perfect. So I've got money. I've got money. You see, I've got money. Okay, I've gotten money. I've gotten money, I've got money. So Americans typically say, I got, without the, okay? Does that make sense? Got it. <laughs> <You> got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what idioms do you know? Okay, what idioms do you know? What phrases do you idioms. know that you heard? Yeah, Jose, Jose Antonio, you gave, you gave me one. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's an, that's an expression. Oh, come on, get out of here. Get over. Get over it. Get over your toxic ex-girlfriend. Yeah, just get over it. The woman doesn't even think about you anymore. Get over get it. Along. Hey guys, get along. Please, get along. Get up. Ah, come on, get up. That's too basic, but yeah. That is a phrasal verb. Now that you are an intermediate form, when you used to say get up in basic, yeah, this is actually a phrasal verb, get up. Mm -hmm. Get off. Get off my back, stop bugging me. Stop bugging me, get off my back. Get off my back means stop bothering me. Stop bullying me, got it? What else? Eventually, you're gonna get the hang of it. Don't worry, this is easy. You're gonna get the hang of it. You're gonna get the hang of it. You're gonna get the hang of it. 
don't rush, don't rush, don't get frustrated. One day you're gonna get the hand of it. You got it? What is to get the hand of it? English or Spanish. Oh, come on, in English, what do you understand by get the hand of it? Um, get something that you want to, to do. Not to do. But you want to learn. You want to learn. So eventually you will understand. You will understand. Got it? Tell us to get away. Okay. Okay. Go to your chat in Zoom. Okay, go ahead. Let's see who makes it first. This is like when in Spanish you say, ah, que se la <laughs> Okay, how do you translate that to English? Come on, translating. Now I am meeting you. No. Come on, use the topic. Use the topic that we're studying right now. <laughs> now I'm getting to know you. Woo! There you go. Did you get it? It's a question, Ada. Ahora te estoy conociendo. Now I'm getting to know you. Mm -hmm. No, on meet. We're using get. Transitioning. I'm getting to know you. Now I'm getting to know you. Jose, to everybody. Yeah, you got it to everybody. Okay, now I'm getting to know you. Excellent. Okay, next. No, I mean, it, my point was, um, is met, met, M-E-E-D, E-E-T? I know. Or hey. no. Nice to meet you, Jose. Nice to meet you, Alexander. That's it. Nice to know you. Man, I talked to you. I know you already, Alexander, for three months. Three months. I'm, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. That's it. I know you. Okay. <laughs> I know you now. It's more, it's more like acquaintance. Acquaintance is meet. Yeah, you meet someone in a minute. But you okay. know someone. Platon, Platon, Platon used to say that to, to get to know someone is better to spend one hour playing with that person. Just play with one person, one hour, and you get to know them. Okay. okay. Come on, me despidieron. I get fired. Got fired. I got fired. Yeah, got type it. it, type it, type it. I got fired. How else can you say fired? Mm -hmm. Fire. Let me give you a clue. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Through words of wisdom. Let it be. <laughs> Come on. God. The falsete no funciona, teacher. What? Yeah, the falsete doesn't work. Okay, hey, come on, guys. I got let go. I got let go. I got let go. Okay, uh huh. And so on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see who does it first. La competencia es a ver quién lo traduce primero. Come on. Translate. Translate. I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed. Again, Heidi, listen to Heidi, Alexander. I'm getting stressed. Alex? Yeah, I'm getting stressed. Perfect. 
I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed. Okay. Not nonetheless. It's great. <laughs> Who's great? <laughs> You're getting annoying. <laughs> You're getting annoying. Annoying. Yes, be careful with this one. You are getting upset. annoying. No, annoying. If you if you're getting upset, you're becoming Hulk. You got it? You're becoming mm. Hulk, the Hulk. But if you're <laughs> getting annoying it's because you are bothering somebody. You are bugging. You are bugging. Each your bug like bug like the insect. Yeah. You're bugging someone. You're bothering someone. People, come on, don't bug anybody. You're getting annoying. You're becoming annoying. You're getting annoying. Now, be careful because if you say you are getting annoyed, what do you understand? I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed. It's not that you are getting annoyed. Yeah. Yep. It's me. Okay. Get. Got, gotten, getting. Okay, play with that. We're using get. Please don't say utualito. It's, it's ahorita. <laughs> right. Right away. Hmm? I'll get it to you right away. Hey, you got it. That sounds awesome, right? I'll get it to you right away. I'll get it to you right away. Urgency, express urgency. Okay, I'll get it to you right away. Oh, God, hold on. Mm, mommy, no, it doesn't work. I get it, doesn't it doesn't get work. Mm. And it no, it won't get work. No. You know what's the problem? I forgot what I was thinking. <laughs> I had a great idea. I was thinking about that's not going to get done. That's not going to get done. How do you translate that to Spanish? This is where the Spanish one. He won't get result. The That's not gonna get done. That's not gonna get done. It's not getting done. That's not getting done. That's not. Ah, oh, I had an idea and I was trying to translate it into Spanish. <laughs> it means this. Get, give us yeah, that's the idea, guys. Get things done. Get things done. Come on, let's get things done. Let's get things done. Get it. 
Any questions, any other ideas of phrases that you may have heard with get? Very useful. So try to practice it. Let's move on with your topic tonight. What do you remember about all the topics we have started this module? This is our second week, right? We're closing the second week, are we? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Third, third week. No. Yeah. Tomorrow we're third. closing our third week. What? Yes. Literally. 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 Okay. Third today is the second. William stood yesterday, tonight I'm, st I'm staying with Johnny. He's checking the agenda. And, okay, here we go. <clears throat> so where were we yesterday, guys? Help me. We watched a video about chip and PPL. The third party logistics. Okay. And what did we what did we do with the video? Being honest. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. New vocabulary. Know. Yeah, new vocabulary, kind of new vocabulary. Uh, okay. So tell me, instruct me. That's just three minutes, really quick. What was the video about? How a PPL company uh, works with the with uh, with their clients. How they ship the the, the merchandise to a place to another place. Mm -hmm. What is the process? What equipment used? Like drugs for for transport the, the, the merchandise okay and what are all, all the process signs the, the, the merchandise uh, arrive to 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 a country maybe or a company and how they distribute the, the, that merchandise So the whole process, it was describing the whole process. Mm, but it specifically was. Yes, Fernando? Mm. Not all the process because that was a specific and I, I didn't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember, sorry. Mm -hmm. What things you don't remember? What, what is the, the point of, of what uh, he, he, was on, he was focused on? Okay, can somebody help Fernando? Okay. Come on, guys, more, more ideas. I just remember that she has um, a truck and two houses that represent the, how TPL works, right? It's something like, um, yeah, she has a, a house representing warehouse, truck, and uh, another is a client house or property of the company. At the end, she has uh, in the middle um, a small house represent a client's house, right? And this is uh, like the cycle of the TPL. Actually, I I only remember that. <laughs> okay. Someone else.
Okay. That's it? Hey, God. Come on, guys. Teacher, he's outsourcing. Hey. He's outsourcing the logistics. Outsourcing logistics. That's what yes. they were talking about. Yes. So they were talking about the, the pros. Three P, the 3P. Three the 3P logistics. Logistics. Yeah. Okay. And he's the, he, he works the one company. They are searching about the logistics. Why is it better in the end, in general, guys, why is it better to hire an outsourced third party logistics than having your own logistics? Uh, you save money. You save money. True. That's mainly it, right? You save money. Okay. Now you're supposed to create in pairs a checklist with 10 with 10 to 15 items to evaluate a third party logistics provider. And you need to use the items from the checklist in the previous page and add others you think important. Okay, uh, this is on page 24. Let me share my screen. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I knew I, I wasn't sharing. I, I was just mentoring you. Let's see. So again, this is page 24. You see this list of um, important areas to consider when you're evaluating uh, third-party logistics. But you know, so, so far we have been talking about third-party logistics the whole week, last week. What is a third-party logistics? I mean, can you give me an example of a third-party logistics provider? Here in El Salvador, someone third-party logistics in El Salvador. No teacher. No idea. Privacy personal transportation. Privacy personal transportation. Oh, private Very personal good. personal personal. Transportation, like the one in the call center? Yeah. They treat us like cows, right? Like products. <laughs> but I got your point. I got your point. Privacy. <sighs> Transport private transportators. Do you know what? These guys are crazy, Alexander. I have seen those, these little um, soaps, you know, at night speeding up. I mean, they're always running. Yeah. <laughs> Have to be very careful with these guys. You know what we're talking about, guys? The company transportation for employees. And man, that, that's crazy. Okay. Logistic operators in El Salvador. Somebody, you know anybody? There are a lot of them. For example, Ransa. Depending on the needs of the company, right? Mm -hmm. They just transport money. Mm -hmm. Cash. Cash. Mm -hmm. How do you open one of these trucks? Yeah. <laughs> I always thought like, oh my God, how, how do you just you need that? <laughs> Yeah, hey, you <laughs> well, you need a code. And, you know, that happened in El Salvador, right, Haiti? Uh, that happened like four years ago, I think, or five. Yeah. They, they assault them. Uh, That's right. Did you see a video in USA that the money falls in the street? Really? And, and many people was taking the money. Wow. I haven't seen that video. I, you should send the link to the group. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we got the idea, right? Now, I think this is very important. Um, I don't think Celsa Prosa has a competitor. Yeah, it does. They do? Proval is the other one. Oh, Proval is true. Is mm -hmm. that, that's it? The Blue one side. Blue Logistic. Is the the ones 
Biggers. The you biggest. ever heard? Yes, Blue well, Logistics. Well, we... They have a warehouse and they have a, like a, I don't know how to say, um, no sé, fiscal. Fiscal like warehouse? warehouse. Yep, yeah, something like that. Hmm. There used to be something called, yeah, Van de Sa no, wait. Uh, it was from Banco Cuscatlan. It was a fiscal warehouse, I got your point, Luis, where you move the, the product, if you are bringing a full container with product, for example, tires, let's say, we used to store them at, um, at the warehouse in Banco Salvadoreño near to Antiguo Cuscatlan. I remember, I don't know why I remember that, but there used to be a big warehouse near to Antiguo Cuscatlan. And you used to pay only the taxes for the products that you were taking out of that place, right? Yes, that is, you get it. So you don't, you don't pay a lot of money at once. The full amount, the, you want to pay for the, yeah. For the, the product that you, you're taking off. Okay, so let's think about that. Let's replace at least, at last, I'm sorry, the third party logistics provider. Let's put a name on it, okay? Get the idea as we're doing right now. What, and this is the question, what third party logistics provider do you know? Okay. Oh, have you heard of? Make questions to your classmates, okay? What three PLs do you know in El Salvador? You know any, okay? If you know one, share with your classmates as Luis and Heidi are doing. I mean, if you know a third party logistics provider, just tell your classmates what is about, what is it about, what do they do, as you heard. Proesa, I forget the word. Proesa, Proesa, transports money, Proval transports money. And other providers actually just provide the warehouse. Think about it. Some providers only provide the warehouse as you saw in the video yesterday. Yesterday you heard they said, right? They said, oh, you know what? I'm renting a space. And this is trend right now. This is a trend right now worldwide, okay? For example, Amazon, Amazon is just selling third party uh, products. Somebody places an order in Amazon for your product. So you dispatch it to the customer right away. It doesn't come from a warehouse from Amazon. It goes directly from your warehouse if you are an entrepreneur, make sense? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's talk about this. Just mention third party logistics providers that you know. Come on, come on. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, you can do it. Hi, hi, Wendy. Hello. Hi, good evening. Wendy, you hear me? Can you hear me? You hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I hear. My teacher is here. Oh, no. Okay, the teacher says in the, the question, what PPL do you know in El Salvador? I, I know it's Blue Logistic. Okay. In my company, oh, okay. 
Continue, continue. Sorry, sorry. In my company use a uh, blue logistic. Um S I S logistic two. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, what about you, Yuri? I don't know if um, Trans Express can be considered in that way. I had that question too. <laughs> because I am reading, I am reading here, and the idea is they provide warehousing transportation. For example, Trans Express, they give me a PO box. And that is uh, like uh, my direction over there. And, and they can receive my product and say, or oh, 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 uh, at, the, at the warehouse that they have. And next they are going to, they bring me, they bring me at the suburb. That's what I think. They bring it to El Salvador. They bring it. They bring it at the Salvador. To El Salvador. To El Salvador. And Fe FedEx is uh, the logistic too. FedEx? Is Federal Express a third party logistics too? I guess it is because it's something like uh, Yuri was mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, something like that, but not sure. I will say so too. Mm, okay. Because in the end, they move products for you, right? You hire them. Yes. In, that, in, that, in that case, so we, we can consider products at all in the same design that another of this company no i don't know you tell me we saw that i we we talked about the kinds of cargo remember and among them they were saying that small packages or mail services they were part of it so yes yes Corredor del salvador is part of it Makes sense. I don't know if it can be considered to like uh, companies like uh, Copart. You, they have a, a lot of cars, and you can buy it. But that's Everyone not here. Can, uh, but but they can they can bring it. Mm, they give they, you the service of putting the car at your door. Uh, and they bring it uh, to aduanas. I don't know what is the word right oh. way to say aduana. Oh, we, we said it before uh, and I forgot. God, I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, to... oh, God, I'm sorry. Aduana, aduana, aduana. Is it customs? Customs. They bring it to customs in uh, customs. Customs. Whether it is here, Navarra, or I can't remember the other thing. Yeah, I got your point. Customs. So they bring Ransa. the card to customs. Ransa. Ransa. Mm -hmm. Yep, just like Haiti was saying, right? Yes, because they they do everything for you. They take the car, they put it on the container, and and the at the ship. It is a specific. It it is a, a broker. Actually, it is a broker. They 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 do everything. 
they, they even do the calculation of the taxes that you have to pay, right? Yes, everything. And that's part of logistics, I would say. Mm -hmm. They do the uh, retaseo. How do you say retaseo? That's crazy. Yeah. So the, the, the entrepreneurs that, for example, I know some page, page, page like Rocketbox, uh, uh, what, is, what is the other? Uh, Rocketbox, uh, Rocketbox, uh, and they use, um, teacher, how do you say Montacargas? Lift. They use electrical lifts because they um, fill up um, medicines and products that are uh, how do you say fragile? Fragile. Yeah. Keep going. You're doing great. No, we were talking about uh, blue logistics. They distribute uh, medicines, uh, tires, and chemical products by, for buyer. Pharmaceutical. Yeah. And you you did uh, something about the documents, the tramit? Yeah, because I have a technical career in logistics and customs, and I used to did. Uh, you should uh, do is merchandise declarations. Mm, okay. Uh, airway bills and the um, is BL. I don't know how to do that. I translate that documents. Is airway bill is for for the airport, but BL. I, I I can I don't know. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. It's a document. Too. Yeah, the bill of charge. Yeah. Bill of uh, charge. Or bill of landing. Or bill yeah. of landing. Of landing. Oh. But the landing is overseas. Mm. Over the air. Yeah. No. Uh, well, it could be on ships too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what else? Names, names, names. We're almost done. Just one more minute. What else? I don't know, but and so when we start to talk about cargo and something like that, um on, on my Instagram appears. <laughs> spot about cargo china so, <laughs> yeah, oh so good and services the marketing <laughs> mm, what else um, is ranta really easy another Okay, what names were you able to mention? Crowley, Crowley, teacher. Crowley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's international cargo, right? Yes. Yes. It's an American company. But I think they do have the service of docking. What was the word? Docking. Cross docking capability. They, I think they do have the cross docking capability. Just like Merciland, Merciland. 
I think so. Okay. Nurse Zealand mm -hmm. is a similar uh, a competitor, I will say. But there are smaller companies, there are very small firms, you know, or companies that do this. Small business, let's say, they, <clears throat> they, they go to customs, they go to customs in, in Guatemala and they bring your product to your door when it's a small business. Independent, independent companies. <laughs> it's just yes. that for some companies it's a headache having to deal with with the logistics, you know, it's, it's too much bureaucracy, too much bureaucracy mm -hmm. for for something that in theory should be simple. Okay, okay. I think you got the idea. Let's go back to share our thoughts. Okay, I think we're ready. Let me do the attendance before we share your ideas with the whole class. How many are we? Nope, probably 16 minutes, 16 seconds. Guys, always, always try to come back quickly when we finish the groups. Wendy, Caroline, Josue, and Sandra. Okay, good. Let me do the attendance now that we are all back before we share the opinion and companies we may know or are familiar with. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene, thank you. Irene Susana Cuella Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Johnny's not here, right? Don't hmm. flip. Jose Antonio Cuyas Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Humaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Tuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. And Joseph Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay. Now, guys, I don't know about this topic. I want to hear from you. What information did you learn from your from your customers, from your classmates? What did you learn about logistics operators in El Salvador? Did you get to know someone that you said you thought you never thought about it? And now you realize it's a logistics operator. One, the microphone is all yours. I hear about Blue Logistics. Um, 
uh, my logistics uh, they specialize about warehouse, um, pharmaceutical, raw materials, chemicals, products, um, and they operate in Central America and I don't remember which other country. Um, and Josue told us in, in the group, they move special, exactly um, in airport, in, sorry, in airplane. Wait, air freight or airplane cargo? <clears throat> Airplane uh, cargo? Yes. It's air cargo, okay. I didn't know about them too. That's gotta be expensive. Yeah, it's, it's expensive, but it's a medical uh, medicines. The medicine are so expensive, but they need to move that quickly. Test. Test. If you're sending a test to the United States by DHL or UPS, you know, yeah. that's very expensive. It's like yeah, I, I, I guess it's similar to the COVID. Uh, COVID uh, tests? Yeah, I mean, yeah. very important tests. If you're sending yeah. samples, you're sending samples. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Erwin, I got it. Okay, so yeah. What is the most expensive um, line of business of, or the most expensive products that a logistics operator move? In general, not just El Salvador, but if you have watched Discovery Channel or- uh, Cars? What? Cars? Cars. Technology. 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 Equipment. Toys. Equipment. Machinery. machinery. What about machinery or refactions? Have you ever seen how they transport a wing, an aircraft wing, for example, or engines that are really big? or long, for example, the, um, have you seen how they, they produce ionic energy nowadays? Have you seen how they produce ionic uh, energy? Yes, there is a new plant in Metapan. Okay, so mm -hmm. have you seen how big the propellers are? Yes. Yes. It's, it's big. It's a big propeller. Have you seen how they transport one propeller? No, did you? No, on big trailers. They use. Yes, I saw. Big <laughs> During? I saw uh, when the government show. And that's how they transport it. I, I, I didn't know, but I, I don't know. But I think it's a big truck, a large no, truck. Let's put water on the system. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Fer. We understand. Hey, I cannot mute you. I'm sorry. Uh, please do you. Okay, continue, yeah, so that's the idea, guys. I think it's, it's 
critical. Can you imagine somebody without experience moving a propeller? There have been huge, enormous accidents on, on the logistics uh, side. What about petroleum? In the sea, right? That's uh, big disasters, natural disasters. And I think that's what the certification refers to. It's not just about being certified on, on env environmental stuff, you know, but it's being conscious of the big damage that you can cause the environment. If you're a logistics operator and you don't know what you're doing or you have unexperienced people, that may be a problem. So we have an evaluation checklist, um, how to select a third party logistics partner. So I'm just going to do something right now. I'll go ahead and uh, this is your page 24, page 24. And before I split you, I'm just going to create the groups and we have four groups. So first group, Alexander, Josue, Luis, Roberto. Now, you know what? I'm gonna leave to you the, uh, the option of selecting a product, okay? Think about a product that you distribute in mass. I mean, you are a big producer, okay? And you are based, you are based in El Salvador. So, but your products need to be exported through Latin America. So what are you gonna do? How are you going to choose the right uh, third party logistics provider? What the, are the characteristics that you expect from a third party logistics provider? based on the list that you have on page 24, did I say? Page 24. Let's do a checklist of the needs, okay? The needs that you have for your product. So think of, of, of a product that you produce in big amounts, you know, and then come up with the characteristics that you need on a service provider. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yeah. No? Okay. Can you name some products, for example, difficult products? Video games. Video games. Video games. Hmm. What about computers? Okay. Consoles okay. and video games. We kind of did this before. It's very similar, but now you have a list. Okay, a checklist to review. So let's do it. You're in groups now. Come up with a good presentation. Just talk about it, you know, describe the needs that you have, okay? Okay. At least 15 items, it says. Let's do it. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. But I am proud to have it mine. No, not really. What kind of products?
when you think about food. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah. some, several several months ago, I bring okay. it. Um, I I bought on on Amazon. Let me see, and I they send me uh, the Trans Express, and I receive almost seven days. I bought uh on Monday, I received the last maybe seven days, seven days late. After that, they, they put the order. Okay. What's the product? The security cameras. Oh, it's expensive, no? No. What? It's expensive, the product, no. Uh, yes, it, it is expensive, it, the process to bring it is it's expensive too, because um, it is a, a Google camera, a Nest camera. Okay. Well, the brand is Nest, but now it, they, the Google bought that, that brand. Uh, yeah. They permit that you record the videos online, you can access between through the cell phone and just you need to pay a membership a, mem, a, a subscription with the with the google and they permit that you save the the videos for maybe one month or seven days depend on depend the can the and you know what kind of subscription do you have um, uh, you have like a server when you, you can you can save your records your video everything is saved on on the on the cloud yeah. mm -hmm. you don't have anything on when you see the camera you are going to think that it is a toy because it doesn't have anything just a cable to connect the the power because everything is is uh, on internet mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we, uh, we have to to do a the list similar to in page twenty three. So what do you say? I say uh, offers fresh innovative ideas. Offer fresh fresh innovative ideas. Uh -huh. They offer. How many is that the teacher? Fifteen? Yeah, it's on your book. It's twelve, actually. It's oh, on okay. page twenty-four. Okay. So what, what what product are you transporting, or needing to be transported? Mm. You said gas, right? I said. Um, gas. Gasoline. <laughs> Gasoline. Oh, fuel. Fuel. Uh huh. Gas. Fuel. Uh, fuel. Fuel. Uh, yeah. Another have resource available, available, available. 
Okay. Another okay. resource okay. available. Available. Mm. I I imagine that if you transport carefully, uh, you should uh, take care of, of the. Uh, the safety insurance yeah the driver cannot smoke for example for example he must be a non-smoker <laughs> they have experience in transporting vaccine covid <gasps> COVID vaccines, yeah, COVID okay, vaccines. Okay, COVID vaccine. Yeah, they need to have experience. Do you think they have experience? I mean, they may have had experience transporting other types of vaccines, right? Because they need to be cooled, right? Mm -hmm. Personal train, train Thermal. personal. Personal training. Personal training. Or personnel, personnel training. Personal training about transport dangerous materials, chemicals, materials. Okay, don't get the group. We're almost done. Seven, no, two minutes and we're done. Oh no, we're missing still some parts, right? What number are you on? How many do you have? We are missing a lot. Yeah, okay. I'll give you some time then. Okay. For write, write and ideas and talk, talk and talk after. Okay, and the name the product is yogurt. Yogurt. Okay. Yogurt. Yogurt. Okay. Okay, yogurt. Mm -hmm. so, um, talking about characteristics of the product, perishable. Okay, uh -huh. Pamela, pásame la How, uh, and then, uh, Fernando, another characteristics? Perishable. Uh, the, 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 the plant, that kind of, of product have to be embalaje, or do you say embalaje, embalados? Embalados. Yes. So you, you have to, 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 Stack. Stack. You you have to stack that product in a in a in a right container with the, a the right the right way on the right container. Uh, uh, for for yogurts is is necessary to have a a specific container with a specific material like polyterreno. It's not just the thermo king. No, it's not the the, the the thermo thermo is for the transport. For instance, the, the transport have to 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 be with a specific temperature for for uh, keep the the sugar in in, in a good state. On um, okay. And the 
also the, the transport had to 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 uh, uh, save the yogurt in a specific container that material that I said for the terrain. So that 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 all all that are uh, rules to transport yogurts okay. in the correct way. You can say the proper way. The proper proper the way. Okay. The proper way. You have to to add the hygienic conditions to hygiene. In Teacher, uh, how do you say like just daily? How do you pronounce daily? Daily, daily. Okay, daily, okay. See, you have to consider to the if you are so also. Over, see, also uh, you 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 import or export your product to another country or from another country. Other mm. countries, another country, other countries. Another country. ¿Cómo se dice cadena de frío? Eh, para un. O sea, lo que pasa es que. ¿Cómo se dice me cae mal que no me deja hablar? No, no, no es eso, no es eso. Lo que pasa es que. Cadena de frío. Cold chain. Cold chain, pero oh. eso es como eh, en el contexto de que así se llama el, el transporte. Tiene que tener una cadena de frío para mantener los, los alimentos. There's a name for that, and it's like a uh, temporizador, ambientalizador. Uh, hmm. There's a name for that, a word for ambientador. Can't remember, but it's very similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a uh, isotermo. Refrigerado, air ah, frigorífico, air frigorífico, oh, yes, that's the word. Frigorífico, a fridge, a fridge. There's no other way, they have to have a fridge. The container needs to be fridge equipped. Okay, keep going, guys. It's 12. It's 12, right? What's your product? Jogger, you said? Jogger? Sí, Jogger. Yeah. Man, so you produce, you produce Jogger. It's going to be difficult. Okay, keep going. I'm not here. Mm. See if you you are uh, distributing your yogurt in, in boxes, you have to to label or put the tags in the the boxes with the specific name or, or quantity, uh, how many yogurts are in the box. Uh, that that is that is an, a normative too. Yes, un marco legal. Uh, mm. Okay. And you have to, to shoot it. The, the transport way, or how is it? The medio transport? The way of transportation? Transportation because transportation if, mean because if you it's dependent the distance and the the time to that you want to transport your product for a, a place to another place from point A to point B. Okay.
Okay, and uh, what about um, insurance that the provider get us uh, insurer, insurance for for damage or or for damage of the product, for example, if cargo, the product cargo, cargo insurance, freight cargo insurance. insurance. Okay, we need we need this this benefit. What about third party insurance? Third party damage. You know, when you crash your vehicle with another one, the insurance covers the other vehicle and yours. The teacher is coming. Yeah, the teacher is coming. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you have? Oh, you got it. No, wait, that's the first one. It's 12. But, anyways, they are. It's 12 on page 24, I think. Teacher is at least for the next page. It's the one on the next page. You have to create your own list. Oh, really? Select a product and create your own checklist. Your needs assessment list. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have to make a presentation or just talk Yeah, about just it? explain uh, yeah, your 12 points. There's 12 well, requirements. Yeah, go to go to the next page. Scroll down, page 24. Okay. 24. Wow. Uh-oh. What have you been doing? We were talking about before. if you just talked about it, did you select a product? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We select it. Like, like a Diana. What? Snack. Oh, snacks. Like a yeah, like a Diana. Like, Di like Diana, like Diana. Yeah, mm -hmm. like Diana. Be careful with the A. Like a Diana. Ah, yeah. Diana, yeah. Okay. So you manufacture, you produce chips. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we stand to. Uh, do you want to export them? Uh -huh, to Central America. Mm -hmm. United States and Europe. Uh -huh. Oh, Europe too, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, teacher I, I have a question. Yes. How do you say furgon in English? The trailer? Really? Trailer. trailer. But the... Uh, I don't know, do you use these terms? It's a van, in fact, the van. Uh -huh. But or, is, it's, it's big, it's like a 53 feet. It's really, really big. That's a box car or a wagon. Box car. Yeah, a wagon. Oh. Oh. Yeah, a wagon transporter. I heard that term too once. It's a truck. Um, it's a big, big truck that transports other trucks or transports other containers, more than one container. Okay. 
I think we need a. Yeah, you say trailer. Airbag. You yeah. can call it a truck, a third axle grid. I mean, there are many different. Uh, three axle for a, for a weight mm -hmm. cargo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Triple road train, double road train, 12 axle. B triple, and so on. It, it all depends on the on the amount of wheels mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send this picture to your group. It's very interesting. OK, let's go back. Are you ready? Almost. OK. You got okay. it on the group. You got it on the group, please. Yeah. Uh, Luis? In Central America? For the um, trailer is is the uh, it's not container Trontum. because it uh huh no front this is a liter I think when yeah you... but in, in Central America but for United States this uh, container is a uh, twenty feet mm -hmm. yeah you're right. Dry freezer? No. No. We don't, we don't need freezer. It's not necessary. No. It's a container for standing in a ship. And for Central America, we need a maybe maybe. Wink box. How do you pronounce, teacher? That way, wing box. Wink box. Wing, uh, wing box. Wink box. I think it's the, the, the bigger for transport by the land. By ground. By ground, oh, okay. The by biggest, ground is... By it's ground the biggest is for, for ground water. transportation. Ground transportation. Okay, ground transportation. Thank you. What else we need um, for here in Salvador? I think we need um, a little one, like a coal diesel double box. Double? Double box, the, uh, there is no number. Truck all diesel double box, or maybe truck. I don't know how to pronounce. Change kill box. Oh, cubicle. Hold on. Uh, I just saw that. CBM, right? Cubicle mm -hmm. meters. Cubicle meters with. With mm, yeah. the cubicle mm -hmm. meters, yep. Yeah, yeah. You have square feet and cubicle meters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, we're ready. We're ready to I think we need. A, I, I think we need. Um, you need uh, more time. The, yep, we need. <laughs> yeah, we need. They have a experience in countries in which we will do business. Mm -hmm. But in what sense? Don't you think taxes maybe? Mm hmm. Like a taxes, like a, I don't know, better uh, route. Oh, the routes. Mm -hmm. For Which the route, route for distribution, for example, you know, to, to, to travel from Salvador. Well, remember that if, if you're exporting, most likely you will have your own customers. You know, it will be from your point of sale to your uh, customers. A warehouse, another warehouse in the States, for example, could be receiving your product and they will distribute it locally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Yeah, you won't spend money on distributing locally once the, the merchandise is on in the United States, for example, it will be too expensive. The uh, freight forwarding is the same as tracking service. Freight forwarding? Mm -hmm. Tracking service. Tracking is when you are. Oh, oh, tracking. The advance. Uh -huh. Tracking. Tracking is just tracking um, a package yeah, using a GPS system. Mm -hmm. But freight is more like cargo. Okay. What freight means? Freight is, is a synonym for cargo. Okay, for, okay. I think, I guess we need a GPS tracking system. Are you transporting valuables? What's your product again? It's food. Food? Yeah, it's snacks. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's snacks. Right. It's it's snacks. Snacks. Mm -hmm. snacks. Snacks. Man. Mm. Yeah, that's difficult. Okay, let's go back. We're missing 15 minutes and everybody needs to talk. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I think we're coming back. Very fast. Can pass and it's from safe to see by four hours and hours. Okay, I think we're ready. So let's go with the first group. Just give us your opinion. Just mention your product and the biggest uh, or the most relevant considerations that you have chosen uh, upon selecting a third party logistics operator or provider, I'm sorry. So again, mention your product and 
at least five of the 12, you know, um, the most important or relevant characteristics that you need based on your product. So the first group is composed by Josue, Luis Ernesto, Roberto Luis, and William Alexander. You're ready, Jose? Yeah. Okay. Okay, our product is uh, snacks, like a chips. Uh, we need to consider about the transportation that we are transporting food and we need to uh, have a third party logistic, logistic service that they warranty the uh, product uh, will be uh, in a good condition when they arrive to the destination. They don't will have a damage during the transporting and the product um, need to secure, um, security. They don't permit that the product uh, has stolen, for example. And that's why we uh, list the next um, uh, techniques, for example, we write about they have experience in countries in which uh, we, we do business. We are thinking about to export uh, to the Central America, United States, and Europe. Um, they have a great reference and great uh, experience in the business. Of course, they are financially stable. They warranty to give a good service always. And they um, uh, have a disaster recovery plan too uh, for continued with the business in a disaster, for example. And the next, uh, do you want to continue, Josue? Yeah, um, in Central America, we are uh, thinking about using uh, no container because it's expensive to use that kind of um, that kind of service. We are looking for a truck wine box for dimension. It are forty five cubic cb. CB CBM, um, the service is for GPS tracking system for the stallings or any problem in, in the road. Uh, for United States and Europe, we need to uh, have a service, uh, warehouse services, because is uh, we can send for that countries, um, uh, uh, a containers in with is is expensive to move a uh, uh, small uh, lo loads for the reason we we are thinking a contract uh, warehouse service and in inventory management for Europe and USA. In Central America, it's not necessary. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I know it's something that I'm trying to correct myself here. Businesses. Businesses. Uh, 
Okay, so they don't, they don't will have a damage. They won't be damaged. We need to make sure they don't will have a damage done. But we need to make sure the product, the merchandise will not be or won't be damaged, won't be <clears throat> damaged. Try to use, try to make some exercises please with uh, the verb to be like that. Without conjugating, guys, the verb to be, I will be, I have to be, um, I'm being selfish, I'm being something, okay. Um, and the Europe, of course, of course, of course, of course. And Europe, not the article, remember, only the United States of America holds the article the, in their constitution. It says the United States of America. And of course, of course, for continues with the business, uh, to continue, to continue with the business. Good. Okay, I'm gonna let you talk, I'm sorry, so we can all say something. Thank you guys, it's really good, thank you. Next group, I have Ada, Alexander, Andres, and Yuri. What's the product? Uh, we have a uh, security camera. So we will we import the camera from USA. The the USA. The USA. Okay. The USA. And the three. From the list, we chose uh, they are financially stable with a long history of successful operations. They have great reference and they have experience in the countries in which you do business. And we have the next characteristics that they offer cargo insurance they offer GPS tracking. They offer product return warranty. And they offer the option to delivery or pick up the product. And custom procedures. And a PO box in USA. The, the option to delivery, no, uh, the option for or the for, option to deliver, the option to deliver the product. To deliver or pick up. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Yeah. Who else was in your group? I think that's it. Let me just go with one participant per group. I'm still missing two and we only have four minutes. Number three, Caroline, Haiti, Rene, and Sandra. Mm. We want to transport gasoline. Um, and we're looking for some offer, offer fresh innovative ideas. Um, they have resource available, um, personal training, uh, about um, safety to transport dangerous material. They provide resource and flexibility. Um, um, they have the required certifications and permissions. Um, even monitoring monitoring system GPS um, committed to continuous to improvement insurance cargo a large network specialists in gas in gas transportation efficiency cost. Um, Trans transparency and we look for pie 
quite tight units, the, the trucks. Um, they had, they had, prepared, they had prepared with all security measures and have different dimensions to adapt to our needs. Permissions. 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 Uh, uh, Ah, permission. Oh, 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 Okay, uh, Fernando, Irene, Wendy, and Jocelyn, just tell us, what's your product? Okay, teacher, our product that we choose is yogurt. As you know, this is a daily product that we get a careful process, and we are looking for containers next to be freeze, because our product like that, good temperature, good level to get the product in good condition, cargo insurance for benefits, Third party damage, and also we request container to to transport uh, the products to get a separator to avoid any contact with other product, even any yogurt to avoid any any damage. This is the product that we select. We chose how we selected. Okay. We selected. Sorry. Good guys, thank you very much, Jocelyn. Thank you everybody for doing that. Um, I think it's clearer now that we have examples of who are the triple in El Salvador and internationally, that's very important to bear in mind, to keep in mind. So let me do the attendance. Uh, by the way, Johnny is not here. I, I, I could stay with Luis Ernesto. Luis Ernesto, do you have 10 minutes for me? For you. Today, teacher. Good. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Good night. Good night. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Carolina Iveto Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Katie Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Vamos, vender, está cansado, mi amigo. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Presente, Fernando. Vamos a ver. Yonel Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Me da con un tomate que va a por todos por la noche como si fuera GTA. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Junior Glenmir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. What? <laughs> Wait. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Okay. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Sueño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night, good night Suleima Ivonne uh, Moreno de Hernández. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto and Joseph Nivel de Arriba. Good night. Good night. Good night. You said good night. I thought you were gone. Okay. How are you tonight? Thank you. What about you? I'm doing great too. I'm just a little bit tired. A little bit tired, but I'm almost done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're missing three, so two weeks. 
two more weeks and that's it. So what have you done? What have you done mm -hmm. with English? Um, to be honest, in the last weeks was uh, very hard at the, in, in my job. <laughs> And I have a little chance for chance for practice. I know I need to practice more listening, but my time is a little complicated nowadays. You like the eighties music? Yeah. Okay, so I really like start singing. I mean, surround yourself by English music. That, that's a key factor as well. Remember that the more you involve your brain in the language, the more information it will absorb without you doing anything. Your brain will start eating the information. That's important. Okay. Yeah. Try to, try I try to, 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 yeah, I try to, to set on um, Spotify the, the lyrics when the the, the song is is playing. Playing. Play. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never understood that thing. You know, Spotify. My son prefers to be listening to Spotify than downloading an app. I have an app with like five hundred songs on my cell phone. You know, it's really? a lot of yeah, big library. I love listening to music. I'm suffering right now because my car audio is not working. Really? <laughs> I have to fix it because the uh, the welder burned the the mat. Remember? I was mm -hmm. explaining to you. Yeah. So, but it is what it is. I'm okay. At what time do you start working every day? Um, it depends. <laughs> Normally, I, I start uh, 7.30, 8. It depends the, how the day is started. <laughs> in, in the production plan, they work uh, 24 hours. They never stop. And when something happens, we need to, to be in communication with the supervisor, with the production manager. Something like what? Uh, for example, they need uh, more raw materials, or they need to change the, the schedule of machines, something like that. And it's all on you. you. Know. Yeah. It's all on you. When yeah, when the line scheduler can take the, the call, they call me. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When are you stopping working? Um, normally, I stop um, around 6 p.m. when I left the office and travel to the, my house. I drive to my house. Okay. And what do you do during this time? And normally I listen to radio. Um, yeah, I listen to radio. Did I try you, to. Huh? You look like a very patient man. <laughs> Are you yes, patient? I think, um, yes, I think I have a good. Um, Emotional intelligence, I think, yeah. In the in the proof, I I have a, a good ranking to manage in the stress. Really, me too. Yeah. Yeah, it's just there's no sense, right, for getting upset. But have you ever been to a car crash, or did somebody ever hit your vehicle? You know. Yeah. Yes, but I think twice was when I, I crashed with a motorcycle, but in a in a semi fue semáforo in a light, in light. light. Uh -huh. okay. 
Really? And you didn't get upset? Um, no, not really. I tried to, to, to be patient. I stopped the engine. I take out the car and watch what happens with the, mm -hmm. the people. Okay. And you were just standing there? Yeah, just watching. I called to the police. They oh. get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did they take a long time to arrive? Yeah, yeah, around three hours. What and what? Where was it? Um, do you know um, Molsa? Yes. Yes, there is a um, like a bridge, and over the bridge is a, a street, and mm -hmm. there is a traffic light. There was. There's where it was. There is where it was. There, 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 there is, is where it is. Where it was. There where is it was. Where it was. Mm -hmm. There is where it was. Never used it before, but sounds so cool. There is where it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, at this point, Luis, I will recommend you try try to sing. If mm -hmm. you like a song, if you like a song. Just grab yep. the song and just sing. Nobody's going to judge you if you're in the car. You know, they will just see a guy driving and. <laughs> I mean, it's it's normal. I think that's what they see on me. You know, they, they see me sing and I, I don't care. I'm on yeah, my I, car. I, I was trying, for example, with Let It Be because he's a oh. easy lyrics, for example. And yeah, he's yesterday. Slow. Yesterday. Yes, I like that deal. Let me recommend you uh, Journey. Journey. Yeah, I Steve, like Steve Journey. Steve Ferry. Mm -hmm. Foreigner. Foreigner, yeah. Foreigner. Yeah. yeah, slow music, you know. Relax. Yeah. Music. Listen, there is another band, uh, Crowded House. Do you heard about Crowded House? Crowded House. Don't dream it so. Yeah. They have many songs. I like a song, uh, and I just found it really uh, recently. Um, he tells her that he can believe. I got a pocket full of hopes. You gotta be crazy, baby. To build to one guy like me. You gotta be out of your mind. Crazy. That's the name of the song, Crazy. But I can remember if there that's Crowded House. I think so. I'm, I, I'm trying to. <laughs> You're trying to look for it. Did you recognize it? Yeah. That's Ice House. It's not Crowded House. It's Ice House. The name okay. of the song is Crazy. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice song. Did you recognize the lyrics? I think a little bit. I mean, it's just that the eighties were were amazing. That that was an amazing yeah. time to be alive. You're like me, right? Like thirty nine, right? Please. Yeah. Are you th thirty nine? Thirty seven. Thirty seven. I'm older than you. Yes. Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Good. Good. That's enough. Okay, Luis, just keep on practicing. That's all that matters. Okay. Nice yep. talking to okay. you. Have some sleep. Good night. <laughs> okay, good night, teacher. Thank you.